Five years ago, Caroline entered the Curtis phase, the, the best phase, the two hearts blending as one phase. We've all collectively watched this phase together, and the best is still to come. Curtis calms her down when needed and lifts her up always and forever. It's that lift thing again. walking by her room and she was reading this new book she was like immersed in it it was called Twilight and um, yeah and I looked up at her and she was just like just overcome with emotion I said Caroline how's how's the read how's it going and she looks up at me deadly serious and she goes um, I'm just so bummed out because I will never know love like this and uh, <laughs> so <laughs> Well, little did she know, um, I think that we can all safely agree now that Curtis is a heck of a lot cooler than literally any character in that book. So, um, <laughs> very happy for her. <laughs> Caroline started to tell me about the new guy in her life. She was so excited. And I got the pleasure of one impromptu night at Malarkey's in Newport <laughs> to meet them out. I was babysitting that night, but they ended up at Malarkey's and I said, I'm coming whenever I'm finished. And I got to meet Curtis and Caroline left for her trek back to LA and Curtis and I stayed and bonded over how great and special and perfect Caroline is. And of course our uh, bond over the Vikings. We also talked about that a lot, so that worked out. Um, and I knew that night that Curtis was someone special and a keeper and a great fit for my best friend. At every step of the way, Curtis has been right there, and at every step of the way, Curtis has made it immeasurably better. He has a few qualities that I've obviously come to value. You'll never find a more loyal friend. You'll never find someone more generous with his time, with his car, which he let me borrow when I didn't have one, but especially with his love. And Curtis has a, a special trait that's hard to describe, but he can walk into a room and instantly make you feel better and put a smile on your face. As a father, it's a concern, you know, as to who his son is going to meet and, and, and meet and have uh, for a life partner. But it's nice to know that he's met someone who's real. She's not a drama queen. She's just a real person and um, really set our minds at ease. Good job.
And so Caroline, I'm so happy for you that for the rest of your life, at every step of the way, Curtis will be there. And I know he will bring all those same qualities for your whole marriage. Love you, he will always be there to support you, and he will always bring a smile to your face. And Curtis, I'm so happy that you found your match because I see in Caroline a lot of those same qualities. The way she supported you as you've endeavored on your career, how kind and how loving she is. I know that she will fill your life and your marriage with happiness, joy, and sparkles. I stand before you today representing all the aunties, your parents, your friends and family, and all those that have gone before us but remain in our hearts. I know I speak for everyone when I say that you two are an amazing couple. You fell madly in love on your first date five years ago. You not only survived, but you thrived in two years of COVID in a dating bubble, whatever that is. And throughout all of that, you have always shown each other love, honor, and respect. It's from the book of the Reverend Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Songs in the Key of Life, side two, track one. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? And this one's for you, Curtis. A spiritual book from the Beatles. Twist and shout, side two, track 14. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Caroline, I love you with all my heart. From our first dates where we traveled back and forth between Orange County and the Valley, I knew we had something special. Although half of my, my date ideas involved flying to places, <laughs> and there was no way I was getting you into a four-seat plane, uh, I just felt as happy spending time with you, either hanging out at your apartment on Church Street or the 50th Angels game I dragged you to every summer. <laughs> the happiness turned to love, and throughout these, fast, these past five years, that feeling has only grown. And now you've completed my life in a way that I didn't know was possible. The amount of love and support that you give me every day is immeasurable and sometimes alarming. <laughs> <laughs> and it's why I love you. Your over the top love and affection makes me feel like the most important person in the world. And I promise to make you feel the same every, every day as we start our new life together. I'll start with the line you've heard before, but I'll say it again because it's true. You are my very best friend. <laughs> In the five years we've been together, you've made me smile every day. You inspire me to be the best version of myself through your kindness, empathy, and thoughtfulness. You taught me to love the Vikings and the Angels, and while those may not be teams that have won major championships in my short time as a fan, <laughs> you more importantly um, introduced me to the best team of all, our team. There is nobody I would rather have as my teammate to be there through it all, to cheer me on in the highest highs and get me through the lowest lows. You are always looking out for me and show your love and kindness each and every day. Today we officially start our forever. I can't wait for our life as husband and wife. I promise to always put your happiness first. I promise to love you and prioritize our family above all else. I promise to stand with you through the good times and the bad and to never stop trying to make you laugh. I vow to always fill our home with love and make any place feel like home. You are my home and my happy place, and I love you with all that I am. Curtis, do you take Caroline to be your lawfully wedded wife? To live together in matrimony, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do. Do you take Curtis to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy, to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live? I do. <laughs> I promise to stand by your side through everything life throws at us. Your burdens and struggles are mine as well, and I promise you'll never be alone. I promise to come home ready to enjoy our time together, together after every trip. I promise I won't make you become a fan of any more disappointing sports teams. <laughs> Thank God. I promise to always be okay with you stepping in place in the living room for hours, getting your steps in at night. And most of all, I promise to try my best to become the husband that you inspired me to be. The wind in your hair, the ocean in your eyes, the touch of your skin when I hold you against mine, the sound of your voice. Harmony with mine This magic we feel By the power vested in me by the state of California and the Universal Life Church Ministries, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. This race as fast as we can Over and over you hand in my hand As we face forever I'll show you again and again It's been
I was fine during the ceremony. Um, little Eliza came and sat down for a minute between us, <laughs> and uh, I was trying to keep her attention on the ceremony. And I said, uh, "Let's look. Curtis and Caroline are getting married." And that's when I couldn't couldn't even say it, and uh, that was rough. But uh, we're so happy and so proud to have you join the family, and. Uh, we know that uh, over the years ahead um, might be a little turbulence at times, but hopefully the, most of the time the seatbelt sign will be off and you're free to move about your lives together and enjoy your experiences. <laughs> you knew I had to get an airline reference in there. <laughs> and uh, you guys are going to have a wonderful life together. Thank you for everybody for being here and cheers to Curtis and Caroline. A poem for Caroline and Curtis on their wedding day. Love is in the air, so no need to despair. When your knees melt like butter and your, butter and your stomach flies. When your knees melt like butter and stomach butterflies flutter, love is in the air. Love is in the air when you send out a cheer. Hip, hip, hooray. Today is our wedding day. Love is definitely in the air. Love is in the air when you make it clear by saying, I do, I do, I do, like Swedish singers. And placing rocks on each other's fingers, love is cementing in the air. Love is in the air when your hearts can declare, you're the one for me from here to eternity. Love is forever in the air. In my imagination, a moment's reawaken, consciously captivated when you're on my mind. If every wall is breaking, endlessly rearranging, this world that we Caroline, as much fun as we had with our hypothetical husbands <laughs> and our bitty babies, I'm so happy that you found a real life husband <laughs> and that you guys can make your stories together. So, I love you both. And Curtis, I'll see you at a Vikings game. <laughs> Cheers. Caroline and Curtis, the strength of your relationship will get you through the difficult times. 
in the happy times, and that's, that's evident today, how close you guys are. Um, so I want to raise a glass and say here's to wishing you many more wonderful times. We look forward to it. And here's to happy, many more happy years to come. Cheers, everyone. So tonight, I invite you all to lift your glasses and toast to Mr. and Mrs. Curtis Merget. Our hearts soar with you tonight and always. We love you both so much. Thank you. Thank you.